The Wnt PCP or planar cell polarity pathway is characterized by its particular Wnt ligands and different cofactors such as RYH, PTK7, or ROR2, all of which inhibit beta-catenin stabilization, giving this pathway its classification of non-canonical Wnt. It is responsible for cell alignment, shape, and convergent extension during gastrulation and embryonic development, and shares responsibility with sonic hedgehog for neural tube closure. PCP is also involved in cancer progression, metastasis, and angiogenesis, and may be involved in type 2 diabetes. So how does it work? It involves transmembrane protein frizzled, represented in orange, and a generic co-receptor represented in light green. When binds to frizzled in a co-receptor and activates disheveled protein shown in purple, which recruits prickle, DOM1 shown in red, and row A. This complex phosphorylates rock. Rock in turn phosphorylates cytoskeletal proteins, resulting in cytoskeletal changes responsible for axon guidance and for cell shape such as the invagination and involution of the mesoderm during gastrulation, as shown in blue. This complex also phosphorylates RAC1 in light green, which phosphorylates junk, which in turn phosphorylates transcription factors in the cell. Junk was originally omitted in this presentation by unfortunate mistake, however, literature suggests that it is not clearly a major PCP mediator in vertebrates in vivo, as junk activity can be regulated by other pathways. I hope that you found this video informative and entertaining, and I hope the bright colors of the clay made this pathway seem a little less intimidating.